welcome in and thank you for joining me today we're just gonna tweak the build a little bit and work on it I feel like we need to uh, we probably uh, yeah because we usually stream on Saturdays so I feel like this will be a good thing to do for today so you're gonna get this on Saturday there's no stream but you're gonna get at least a little bit of a build video and I just went through the mail before I started so I want to say a thank you to Shiloh I am wearing the flip-flops you sent me with my socks, so thank you so much because it's cold, but we're going to wear them anyway because I like flip-flops a lot. I can't wait to be able to wear my flip-flops. And I've also already built all this in, so I think this looks pretty good on a whole. So let's look at it and see. I started some things before we... Ooh, yeah, I like this. Yeah, that's good. Now, we're going to path it a little bit, and then we're going to maybe work on cleaning up some beaches. This I don't know if I like. You know what I mean? What if I need to put another wall back here and then just layer it? Let's try that. I also want to make an announcement, kind of like a decision that I've made. So, I'm just going to say it briefly, and then we're going to move on and keep building and playing. I just want to say something really quickly and briefly. Um... Yeah, that one's pushed back, though, but we can pull it a little bit. We could layer this one, too. Yeah, let's layer this one, too. I don't know. It looked better that side. Let's let's layer this one also. So I made a decision, and I kind of made it uh, myself this morning. I started thinking about what I can do to kind of eliminate some of the problems that I've had this week. And we're not going to go all into it here because... Uh, it's nothing bad. I just felt like I was behind and couldn't stay caught up. And I feel like it's a little bit because the stream schedule I have is a little bit, well, it's 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 a lot. I stream six days a week. And I love it. I would do it every day of the week if I could. But it's not beneficial for me because I have so much channel work. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, work that goes into these. And um, I'm not, you know, not complaining. I love it. Oh, yeah, I like that, too. That's better. So, what we're going to do moving forward is this. Um, there will be no more streams on Thursday nights. So, from now on, we will not stream on Thursday evenings. Now, the reason for this is because we have so many other streams where we can combine games. And we'll keep those. Like, we'll still keep our Friday night um Mashup, which seems to do very well, and people really love it. I mean, they really do, I think. Uh, I hit on something that I created on my own, uh, not meaning to. I did it one Friday night, and people really liked it, and I was like, cool, this worked. So we're going to keep doing that. So Friday Night Mashup will always be my, uh, on the channel as long as I can give it to you. And I don't see a reason why not. So... I guess what I'm trying to say, and I was trying to make this short and not long-winded, is that um, we're not streaming on Thursday nights anymore. Um, it's got nothing to do with anything else besides the simple fact that, you know, I have a husband too, and, uh, you know, I feel like we're not really, you know, like, I feel like I'm busy all the time. And I... And I feel like when I say that, it's a bad thing because I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea. Like, I don't like it or I don't want to be where you guys are at or something like that. It's got nothing to do with that at all. I love this job. I love content creation. It's the funnest thing I've ever done and I love hanging out with all of you. I just think that we need to not do the Thursday nights. Um, there are several different reasons for that, but... Um, we're not gonna we're not gonna go into those here. I'm just gonna say that I think from now on, no Thursday night streams, and leave it at that and move on with the build. Um, we'll still do the Friday night mashup, and we'll still do the crossover Sundays. And that's another thing. Like I feel like we're getting into like we're doing so many things, and I feel like it's enough. So moving forward. Uh, we're going to keep, because, you know, I can do Animal Crossing every night of the week. But I feel like we need to mix it up, because, right, because that's what the Crossing Make channel is all about. We're about mixing it up and playing on different platforms. So, uh, 
We're going to keep the crossover Sundays because that seemed to go over really well last week. People liked it. I asked in the chat. They wanted to keep it. We'll keep the crossover Sundays and we'll keep, um, hey, you know what we could do if it would fit? I just got an idea. Ooh, it, well, we can take the hedge out and get back there, right? Yeah. Let's put candles in the back of these, right? Yes, let's do it. We could actually put a wall back here, too. No one's actually going to know it's back here. Yeah. Yep, I like this. And then we'll put a candle behind each of those. Okay, let's do it. So, moving forward, no more Thursdays. Um, and I guess we can leave it at that. We'll stop Friday night mashup and crossover Sunday, but moving forward, no more Thursdays. And that'll give me time, too, to do the things that I need to do, like work on stuff for the channel, because um, I've got a lot of stuff that's in the works that I want to work on, and that'll give me more time to do that. So that's what we're going to do. That's one change. And then we'll talk about others moving forward later on. We need to put this stuff up and pick it up. People have left me stuff. This stuff Angel brought me for inside builds. So thank you, Angel. I appreciate you. Um, Tammy sent me some out. We'll go over and read it in a minute. It's kind of cute and funny. Um, and Shiloh sent me flip-flops today. Thank you, Shiloh. I appreciate you. Um, I like to mention everyone that, like, sends me mail or anything. Um, you know, it's nice. Angie brought me this stuff, and I need to pick it up. So we're getting there, guys. We are really getting there. I think it's starting to take shape and look really nice, so. I don't know about this, though. This looks a little janky, doesn't it? Does that look janky to you? Like, we could fix it. Okay. So, let's move on, and let's fix some of this stuff and make it look right. And let's put some of this away so we don't have such full pockets. Ah, uh, so let's do this, and let's get some stuff out that we need to build with, and let's, let's build. I want to talk about this real quick. Um, Tammy is a longtime subscriber, and I consider her a friend. So she wrote me a letter that said, Dear Stacy, howdy from Tammy. And then she also wrote, Dear Stacy, do the AC and H stuff out loud. Now, if you know anything about Tammy, you know that she's um, cute and funny. Um, I love Tammy. Uh, I lo I'm, I'm so privileged and excited to have you as a subscriber to the channel. So thank you so much. And... Uh, you're appreciated. So, I just thought that was cute and funny. I wanted to read that on camera. I hope she watches this video. I know she watches my Stardew videos. So, I don't know if she watches much of my Animal Crossing content anymore. I, she she loves Stardew. So, she's a big Stardew fan. I think there are a lot of people anymore that really are. Let's see if we can find a table that would stand up big enough. And that it wouldn't, you know, like we could still push the building side in. And let's see how it looks. Would this work? Something like this? Would this be big enough? Oh, wait. And something else exciting that's happening is we made it to 280 subscribers. Whoop, whoop. And uh, that's exciting for me. 20 more and we'll have 300. So, um, boy, never in a million years did I dream when I started this channel that it would do this. Like, I thought, you know what, if I get 100 and get some people to play with, I'm good with that, and um, so I'm super excited to see it grow. I'm super excited uh, to to watch to watch the channel grow bigger, or you know, like grow bigger. So it's it's fun. I don't know what I'll do if I actually, um, you know, like I'll, there'll be no words probably. I'll be a hot mess. Let's see if this works. Let's get something out. Alright, let's build. Enough of that talk and chit chat. Let's build an island. We really do need to finish ramen. Um, it's been a labor of love for sure. And I'll be sad to see it go. Um, it's been one of the funnest builds that I've ever had the privilege of doing. And it's been fun because I get to do it with all of you. So... That's what makes it special. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Let's find the holiday candles. I know I got them. I went to a treasure island and picked up some stuff. 
It may not still be enough, but it'll be enough for this build. Pretty sure. And you will get, uh, you get two videos, uh, and by the time you watch this, it'll be Saturday, so you should get two videos on, uh, this day, which is Saturday. So, alright, hang on. Well, why isn't it in there? I know I got it. Isn't it something different? Am I going too fast, or is it in? No, because it wouldn't be part of holiday right now. Hmm. Come on, I know you're there, because I know I picked him up. So, I picked him up so we wouldn't have to craft a bunch of them. Let's just slow down a little bit. There's the lanterns. There's the trees. Maybe I didn't pick them up. I know I did. Okay, let's go real slow through here and see what I find. Take your torches. Is it back up top? Is that the problem? Okay. Uh, no, they should be down towards this way. There we go. There they are. There we go. There they are. Let's use... I don't think you're really going to be able to see the color through that, but we'll see. You know what we need to do is we really need to make it dark out here. Don't we? So we can actually see if this works. There's one there. Oh, this will be pretty if it works. See, because you can see that that... Okay. Do I have a medieval building side? No, I do not. Okay, hang on. Let's go get him out. Let's actually... Hang on. Humor me for a minute. Humor me, humor me. I want to time travel to see when I set it if you can see it like that. We don't, I don't think we need to go to Harv's Island, but we might do something fun today, like have coffee with Brewster or hang out with a villager, or maybe we can see if any villagers are awake and we can give tours again for people who haven't got to see a lot of the insights that we've been doing. You know, like if you're new to the channel and you haven't got to watch those streams or something, we could at least try to do that for you. So let's see what we got here. Let's see if this looks right. We still got the store open if we need it. I'm telling you, I woke up this morning and I feel like I'm getting a cold and I certainly hope not because we're supposed to go to a concert and I'm supposed to go dress shopping with my daughter and yeah, like I don't know what brought this on, but I do think that I have successively passed the kidney stone I had, so that's good news. And I've cut the pot back so I'm feeling better that way. So now, of course, something else has to happen. You know what I mean? Like, life can't just be smooth sailing for crossing. I, uh, I'm not complaining. I, uh, I, I, I'm not complaining. I mean, a cold is not the worst thing. But I'm like, I was just sporty and I was like, really? Like... I did some housework and stuff, and I, I today is my laundry day, woohoo, and, <laughs> and I was like, I noticed it, and I was like, talking to one of my friends, and I was like, oh, I hope not, and she was like, I hope not either, so. Alright, let's see what this looks like, let's see if we can accomplish this, and then we'll tweak pathing and stuff too, we won't spend all day on it, we'll just see if we can get it right here in the next few minutes. Oh, Red's on the island today. We gotta figure out what we wanna do with Red's beach, too. I think I got it covered up, though, so I don't think you're really gonna be able to see Red's beach on here. But I was thinking, like, we need to think of something. Like, wouldn't it be neat to put some mermaid stuff down there? You know how they brought the big boats in um, when they did the Goblet of Fire and the other schools come in? Wouldn't that be neat? We're gonna try that, I think. I want to try to hedge some more. I do like the hedges and the way they look. So we're going to try to hedge it here too. So I like it. I think it looks pretty. And then we can put flowers and trees around it there. And we got to build a forest and a shrieking shack. So we're getting there. I think we're, ooh, okay. Let's grab a building side. 
And let's see how this would look. And let's just see if we can make them all look like this. Maybe. Cross your fingers. Because everything I go to do sometimes does not work out. But we're going to work at it and see what we can get. Let's get the building sites. Now these shouldn't be hard to find. We should have quite a few of these. Yep. You never know what it takes to build a castle until you start building castle things. And then you're like, wow. You're like, get out. I didn't know it would be like this. Now let's see. Can we push it back? Okay. Now that's perfect. Can you see the candle? No. You can't see it. Darn it. Well, I wonder if you scooted the table. Can I scoot it more this way? I can. I wonder, can I scoot it up a little further? Okay. Let's try that. It's not gonna it's not gonna let the building site go back as far, but can you see the candle? Yes it is. Can you see it? Barely, you can barely see it. Smaller candle. Smaller candle. Smaller candle. Oh, I like this for using it. We're gonna figure this out. Isn't it cute? I do like the holiday candle, but if that's not gonna work, then let's use a smaller one. Yeah. I think the table is perfect, though. We might have to order some more of those tables, but. It's our town tune. Yeah, smaller candle. I know I got them. Let me just give me a minute here. Let's, let's see. Let's use the, uh, I said we didn't need to go to Harv's Island, but, okay, let's try something. Let's try something. Let's try these first. Let's just grab a bunch of stuff and see what works the best. And then let's, let's grab a couple of these and try these too. We're on a mission. We're on a mission in our flip-flops with the socks. Okay. <laughs> first, I want to try this. And I want to see if this will go back into here and work okay let's see what this looks like can you see that ooh I think I like that okay you can see that so let's try that and then let's see what we oh nope that is not what I meant to do nope 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 crossing says no So this is what you get into when you start building and you start moving things around. Sometimes you hit things that you don't mean to, to hit, but that's okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. So, let's try the little candle and see how we feel about it. So, that would be this. Probably going to like the candle better, but that ornament lamp is not bad. We could actually use those in different places. Just maybe not here, but it's not bad, but I think maybe the candle would look a little more, look a little better. Oh, yeah. See the candle behind there? That's the shorter one. The shorter one works better. All right. Got a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't know if it's going to work over here, though, because of how, how close this is, but we can try it. So we're going to do this. It might actually work a little bit better. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let me put it down. Okay. Let's 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 see. Let's do this, and then let's just pull it, and then let's push it. I wanted to wear the balloon hat. Um, I'm channeling my inner inner Ron today. <laughs> Ron Weasley. I'm channeling my inner Ron Weasley today. You know, he would have wore stuff like this. You know what I mean? We need to give him clothing, too. We, I never did do that. Oh, my gosh. This didn't work out too bad. Can you see it? Yes, you can. That's pretty good. I like that. Gives it a little bit of depth back here. You know what I mean? Like, it's a nice little... Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Let's push this back. Ooh, this is better anyway. Look how, how much better it is when you push it back. Okay. Let's put the table in. Now, wait. How far did I push this one back? Let me look. I pushed it pretty far back against the hedge, didn't I? Okay. Let's do that. Push 
push this one back in. I'm getting there, I'm telling you. I'm digging this build. I hope I dig the next one because everyone is so excited. Like, everyone that I talk to, like fellow content creators and like uh, subscribers and stuff, they're just so excited about this build. And I'm excited too. I just hope that I can do it justice because I've never done City Core. I've never attempted it. Wait, we need to pull this up just a little bit so you can kind of see the wall too. Let's do that. That's better. So I've never done anything like it. So no promises as to how it's going to look. But we're going to give it a shot. Roaring 20s and City Core, here we come. I think it'll be similar to what I've already done here. So like I think we can use the castle parts and things like that. Which will be kind of nice because I'm used to working with them now. And I know how to like kind of put it together to make it look appropriate. Like we'll probably just use like a lot of medieval building sides. You know what I mean? And like color them different colors. You know like uh, city colors. Um, that's what my husband was saying the other night. I was like I don't really know. And he's like well that's what I would do. He's like I would just make like brown stones and things like that. So we're going to give it a shot. Like, I don't know. Um, I've never done anything like it, but it'll be fun, you know? It'll be fun to see what we can do. Okay, let's see if you can see it if I push the table to just about here. Let's try it. It worked out really well. This looks pretty. I like it. Now, can you see it, or do I need to change it up a bit? Yeah, I need to scoot it over a little bit. That's fine. I need to scoot it over maybe this way if it'll let me. I don't know if it'll let me or not yet. Well, now can I get out of there? Yes. It's a scooch, but nobody's going to be back here anyway, so it's not it's not a big deal. Let's try it. Let's push it. Oh, it's so pretty. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's do that with this one. It gives a little more depth. You know what I mean? I don't know if it'll let me push this one. Okay, let's take this out and take this out. Now let's try to push this one back. Okay, let's push this one back a little bit and let's put another one back in. If it'll let me here. This build has been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it and got a lot of pleasure out of it. I love Harry Potter anyway. So... Of course, it stands to reason that I would really enjoy a build like this. It was fun, actually. Okay, let's go get some more tables. It was fun, actually, to jump into the Potterverse and kind of learn more about it. Especially the insides of things like uh, Ron's bedroom in the borough. Uh, that's what we gave in Hamlet's house. Uh, we did Defense Against the Dark Arts and Raymond's. And we did My Whole House with all of Hermione's favorite things. So it was really fun to kind of dive into the Potterverse and learn more about it and to figure out things that I didn't think I could figure out. So that was uh, a good time. What if you could see it on a barrel? Let's check it out. And you're not going to see the things that they're sitting on, so I'm not exactly sure that it has to all be the same. Um, we're just learning together. I've never done anything like this on a build. Um, and, and uh, my husband was telling me the day, like, he was really impressed with the things that I had done and built. <laughs> he was like, you know, you really kind of immersed yourself in it and did a nice job. So I hope so, and I hope you all think I did too. We need to pull it over a little bit. But yeah, I think that'll work. Maybe. The table might have been better, but we, we can try it. Let's just pull it like this and then push it back. But maybe not so far. Not so far. That way you can see it through there. Let's try it. Nope. You need a smaller table. See what I mean? Because it's going to be too, kind of too high. Let's just get a table. They work better. If I have to, I can just get the iron out and craft iron garden tables. Let's see what we got. Let's get something out. What, do we have any more ta like little tables? I just need little tables. Might be able to use the bunny one. We could use these cute tables. These would be tall enough. I don't know how many more I've got to do, but let's just grab a couple. I uh, 
I never realized until I started building this island and uh, doing things how much it actually took to build something like this. It it takes a lot of stuff. And as I go along, I feel bad because I feel like I've kind of hit my stride at the end, which was not my intention. But I kept building and then having different ideas pop into my head. I was like, yeah, let's try that. Like, that might look okay. And so it kind of worked out. And I, But I kind of feel bad because I kind of feel like I... I hit my stride at the end, which was, like I said, that was not my intention. My intention was to hit my stride in the beginning and get us going. And I feel like I kind of kind of failed in a way, but maybe not. Did we do it over here, too, I'm hoping? Okay, we did it all. That's neat. We need to do that some other places, too. Okay, I like this. I really do. I think it's neat. We're leaving it. Okay, well, that wraps that up. Uh, let's go ahead and put on our construction hat, and we'll keep working at night so we... So we have the things that we need to light up, we can light up. We need to fix this um, pathing. So uh, I kind of don't know how to fix this. So here's my dilemma. We need to fix this so it's straighter across. My dilemma with this, though, is I'm going to have to add on to here. So let's just add on and see what it looks like because we need to kind of straighten this out a little bit. Now, we can also do flowers and stuff. We don't have to do all pathing, but it would be nice if we could straighten it out just a little bit so that it doesn't look like, you know, you might have to leave some of this straight because with paths, it's like you don't want to cut yourself off too soon or it looks kind of funky. So let's try it. We're going to fix this today. I'm on a mission. <laughs> I'm going to finish ramen. We're going to leave, well, we're going to just leave this in the dirt. So let me get a shovel. I've been really wanting to finish. Let's, let's put this vine back by the wall. Uh, we need more walls here, though, don't we? Okay, let's get, okay, let's do this. Let's get the walls out and finish that part. And then we'll put the vine back and we'll do the pathing. So we just need to grab a couple more castle walls. Now, I have kind of pathed and everything different. Like, this part up here has been this brown walls and the brick. And in the back is more like Hogwarts with the gray and all that. So I've done mine a little bit differently um, with the pathing and all that. And I took some bridges out last time. In case you didn't watch that stream, Monday stream, you should really go back and do so. We did a... We did a, a little thing where we took the bridge and stuff out. I think it really helped things because now I can kind of design, which is kind of nice. That's not what I need. I just need a castle wall. There we go. We're just going to castle it all the way across because this is kind of like what it looked like. You know what I mean? Okay, let's take that down. We can push this back a little if we have to. Okay, hang on. Let's pull this back a little bit. We need to pull it back. Okay, that's fine. Now, the one thing that I've had to learn since starting to do this is it'll fit. You can make it fit. But you got to be patient. And I'm not a real patient person. Uh, you know what we could do? I know, I know what we can do so this isn't blocked. That view isn't blocked. Right? Because we don't want that view blocked. Um, if it'll fit, I know what we can do. So you can kind of see through there and see it. And you might even be able to get out on it. Oh, see, this is what I mean. Like, I've hit my stride at the end, and I don't know why. Like, I think it's because I started putting things together and seeing it come together, and it made it a little bit easier for me. I noticed when I started doing the inside that I started getting more and more ideas for the outside. It doesn't make sense to me, but I'm kind of glad it worked for, out for me. Let's, let's stand this. Nope, it's not going to let me because of the way it's... Maybe. Okay, let's take this out for now. Maybe if I stand here, it will. Yep, let's push it. Sometimes you just got to make it do what you want it to do in this game. Animal Crossing is a great game, but sometimes it can be kind of fickle. Oh, it's going to tell me there's no room, but I know there is. Let's try it here. Uh, nope, it's right. There was no room for that. Okay. Um, okay, let's try this. Can we just put this on the end? 
Yeah, they'll let us do that. Let's just do this and end it here. That's fine. Now I got an idea. Watch out, I got an idea. Okay, let's go around the corner. Some of it's going to be tight. And you just need to keep working with it. You got a plan. Keep working with it. We could put a tower there. How would that work? We'd have to fill in a little bit of this water, maybe. Let's do that. We can put a tower on this end. No, we don't want that one. We want the water one. There we go. Okay. Let's, let's fill a little bit of this in. It doesn't hurt anything. Oh. We need to straighten these jump spots out anyway. And I've got an idea, so... Let's put a tower on the end of this. What do you think, guys? I think a tower. Right? And then we put a building site on it and another candle there. That's what we should do. Let's see if we got any more towers. We should have. I grabbed a couple the other day. My pockets were so full. Um, and if you are not subscribed to Able Hunting, you really should go do so. Um, and she, she also has um, a free treasure island that you can do on her Discord. And uh, those are the ones that I do. I do April Honey's free ones. And they're usually not really crowded. And they, um, they're they really awesome. So you should go check it out. Ooh. I like this. Now the building site is not going to fit on this side. Because. And we might have to hedge this back here. So it's a little even. And it looks like the rest. You know what I mean? Like just like maybe right in here. Okay hang on. I got an idea. So what we need to do is we need to probably fill some more of this in just so it looks more uh, together. So let's let's see what this looks like. Let's take this out for now, just this, and then we can put it back. Oop, nope. Um, and I really never visited Treasure Islands that much until just recently. And I know, you know, how some people feel, but I, I just had to because... I would have never got half this stuff done if I hadn't. Hang on. I think this is far enough to fill in. And then we can do the pathing and we can do the hedge, the hedging. Oh, this is going to look awesome. I think my water makes more sense now, too, to be, to be totally honest. Okay. Let's look at it on the map. Oh, yeah. I really like this. The map is really coming together, guys. It really is. Okay. So, we'll, we'll just go ahead and maybe, like, cover this one up. But I got a plan. So, let's fill this in a little more. That's good. Um, I'm going to make sure that I've got it all filled in where I want it to go. And maybe I should do this before I do any more on the back side of this. So we can put this together. Oh, this looks so good. This is not bad at all. This ain't bad. <laughs> I've got another fellow content creator. Um, Simulation Fluffy. If you're not subscribed to her, you really should go do so. She is uh, working on Nokmar right now. She's doing like a Fallout Island. And it is absolute fabulous. Fabulous. So if you're not subscribed to Simulation Fluffy, you really should go do so. But she teases me all the time because I say that ain't bad. And she always saying that ain't bad. <laughs> I enjoy working with Andy. She's a she's a true pleasure. I call her Andy, but her channel name is Simulation Fluffy. <laughs> Ooh, this ain't bad either. Is it? You just have to kind of wait and be patient and kind of tweak things. You can get there. But you just have to figure it out. And sometimes that's the hard part is figuring it out. You know what I mean? And like my husband said, if you're just patient, it'll come. You know? Um, Pet's also one of my biggest fans and I appreciate him. Ooh, that does look good. Okay. Let's go over on this side and do the same thing. So how did we do that? Just so it goes, kind of goes, and kind of, like, keeps going that way. So let's do it like this, maybe. And connect it back, and then we'll, we'll cut the edges. So we know we want it there, right? So we do it here, then we hop over. We want it there, so we do it here, and then hop over. We want it here, so turn around and do it. 
Yeah, sort of. But we want it to be a little more even. Mm -mm -mm. Can we turn here maybe and like do it here? Yes. Exactly. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Yes, like that. Now let's look on the map. See how much better that looks? That's a lot more even. It looks a lot more structured. And then you can hop. So you can either hop over here and go to Hogwarts, or you can hop over here. Now, where is this going to go to? Because I like things to make a little more sense. So if you hop over here, you could go through this castle gate. Yes, and around to the campsite and stuff. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. I'm really getting into this now. Okay, so... um. Perfect. Okay, so let's hedge this. So we're going to have to run and get some. So let's run and get some hedges and hedge it off. Getting some now, somewhere now, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're not, or wait. So if you enjoy the content, please leave me a thumbs up or a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I would hope that you would consider doing so. Uh, and leave me a comment in the comments below about what you think about the build or uh, who your favorite Harry Potter character is. Um, a little lore about the Harry Potter, you know, universe. Anything, as long as it is respectful. I know a lot of people have a favorite character or a favorite Harry Potter movie. Um, if I was to decide and choose, now we're going to have to leave this open, which is fine. A gap is no big deal. Oh, wait. This isn't going to work. Wait, what if we did it up here? Yeah, this works. Just to get the little bit of a hedging behind it, but to leave an opening so they can get through. Yeah, that works. That works. I didn't want to totally close it off. Okay, now let's put this castle gate back. I think if I was choosing a favorite Harry Potter movie, it's hard for me to choose or a book. Because I read all the books and watched all the movies. Like, it was a big part of my oldest daughter's early preteen teen years, I want to say. Uh, where is the gate? Oh, there it is. Um, it's hard for me to choose, but I did like, I don't know. I like the Prisoner of Azkaban because it's where they introduced Sirius Black. And, um, I'm a big Sirius Black fan. I liked him. I thought that he was good to Harry. Um, I kind of wish they left him around, you know what I mean? To kind of been like, you know, because Harry didn't have like a father, but they didn't, so, um, yeah. But anyway, Prisoner, Prisoner of Azkaban, or uh, I love the Goblet of Fire, but the Goblet of Fire was sad because they let Cedric, Cedric Diggory, you know, uh, what happened. So, I don't know. But I did like the Goblet of Fire because I felt like he started to come into his age in the Goblet of Fire. And I liked it really well. The other older, you know, like as you go along and you get closer to the end, they get a lot darker and some of them get a lot harder to watch because it's so hard to watch him um, suffer, basically. And it was hard for me anyway. Um, if my daughter was being honest, I think it was hard for her too. You watch him go through all this stuff, you know, and then... Okay, I don't know if these hedges are going to work here. Maybe we do it to a certain point and then we don't. So maybe we put the castle gate down here like we had it. But it does need to be passed. That's not going to hurt anything. Because we want to leave it open so that they can jump on the jump spots, right? And get where they need to go. But yeah. Either Prisoner of Azkaban or um, 
Goblet of Fire for me. I did like the Chamber of Secrets. I liked it when they were younger because they were kind of lighthearted. But as you go along into the story, it can't be like that forever, of course. I, I, I understand that. It's, it's, it's got to follow him through his, you know, growing up and getting through Hogwarts and getting away from Voldemort. It was, I liked it. I thought it was a good movie and book series. I, I also dabbled in Twilight with her when she was young and she read all the Twilight books too and saw all the Twilight movies. Um, and it was fun to do it with her. Um, she came to me one night after she read the first Twilight book and she, I, it, it's so funny because um, we had just had like a big snowstorm and we were kind of trapped in the house at the time. And we were kind of late to the game with the Twilight stuff. Like it had already become a big sensation. And she got the book and she wanted to read it. I wasn't even really sure how I felt about that as a mother. You know, I was like, mm, okay, we'll see. It turned out to be okay. Um, and she read it and... She brought it in and laid it on the couch that night because we were just hanging out because we couldn't go anywhere. That's back when we used to have winters in Indiana. And um, she's like, you've got to read this. And I'm like, Morgan, that's for teenagers. That's not for women my age. And she's like, no, Mom, you have to read this book. It is really good. So I said, okay, I'll read it. And I read it, and I was hooked. I was like, oh, yeah. And that's what really started my, um, my, um, my interest in the fantasy was, hang on, we're going to do this real quick and fix it, and I promise you won't take but a second, um, was that book series. No, we're okay. I don't think we need to do this. I think I'm just making this worse. And now that's what I like to read. Fantasy. Mm kind of like a, you know, romantic fantasy, though. Not nothing that would be too um, terribly, you know, like, out, you know, weird. So, okay. We're going to hedge it to here, and we're going to leave it exactly like we had it, and stop fooling around. And we're going to make an opening there so they can get across the jump spaces. I think we're okay. Oh, how did I have this? Now, see, this is... I should not take this stuff apart. Um, there should be somebody here that tells me, no, don't do that. That's okay, we'll get it back. It looks pretty good, though. I mean, I don't think it looks bad. It ain't bad, is it? Let's pick this up, too, out of our way just for now so we can get this all back in. <sighs> I hate it when it does that, throws it sideways. I step back from it. It's really the best way a lot of times is to just step back from it. Okay, now, let's step, let's see. Let's actually put the gate here, right? Because it gives it more room to go through. So, let's find it. There it is. Let's go this way with it. There we go. This will give them a wider space to come through when it comes to this. Well, how come? Because of the campsite. Can we do it like this? Okay, let's do it like that then. Then you can still come through here. That's fine with me. And then the castle wall will go there easier. And then we can put a tower on the end. It's this space right here that's going to give me fits because it's next to this campsite and it's not going to want to do it. Oh, that's nice. You could still come through here and then jump on the jump spots. I think this works. It's just a little bit of work with it sometimes. Really getting it, like, getting it down like you need to get it. And 
So that's that's kind of that point here. Let's push it. Oh, let me. Yeah. But it's not gonna connect now. Okay. Let's pull it backwards. Okay, let's do this. Let's pull this over this way a little bit. Okay, that works. But you can't push it forward anymore, right? Okay. So let's put the tower on the end. Boom. Let's push it. Let's pull this one down. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Now all we got to do is just position this right and we got it. <laughs> Now, if we just stand back here like this, let's see if it'll let me. Oh, and let's push it forward. Okay. Now, can we get another wall in here, I hope? I hope, I hope. I doubt it, but we can try it. Uh-uh. Huh. I want it all to kind of be connected. I don't want it to be... Can I pull this up? Okay, but not this one. Well, yeah, but it's going to still leave. Okay, can we cover it with a building side? Yes, let's get our storage shut out. Let's just cover this up and layer it. Um, okay, let me get my storage shed. There it is. Let's get a building side. Let's see if we can... Do this one. Oh, we can't. We, I think we still have the candles and everything in our pockets. Let's see if we can just make a candle here, too. It's just like I said, like, I went and grabbed a bunch of stuff yesterday, and I'm almost already out of castle walls anyway. But I think I'm almost done with this collar anyway, so. Okay, let's try it. Let's put a tea table back here. Let's push it. Because we want it to all be kind of the, uh, nope. Can we pull this back like we did the others? Yep, let's just pull it back. Let's push this table in just a little more. Let's put the candle on it. There it is. Let's put a building site on. If we can find it. There it is. Let's push it back a little bit. Oh, yeah. Like, it's going to be a little further or further forward than that one, but, you know, I think we're, well, we can fix it. So, what we could do, hang on, just bear with me. We could pull this one up again, okay, like this, but is that going to throw it all off? No, not really. Because if you go, if you think about it, you're going down the other way. So it's not such a big deal here. So what we could do is we could push this one back. Back. Okay. We probably should customize our tables. But we'll worry about that here later on. I just want to see if it's going to work first. Let's get the table. Boom. This one's blue. That's okay. We can always recustomize them later if we want to. That's a quick fix. That's not anything that would take but five minutes. Where's the candle? Okay, and then let's put the building side in. Let's see if this looks right because we still got to push it back. Okay. Yeah, I think this will be perfect. It'll be perfect to where the other one's at. And you can see the candle. Oh, yes, I like this. But I think we should craft like little wooden tables or something. Just so it fits the motif better. But yeah, look at this. We got it in. How about that? How about that? And this makes a little more sense. So like you can come around here still through this gate and you can hop over yeah I like it I really do I think this is fine I mean you're gonna be able to see this ball back here a little bit but I mean honestly you know it's in the scheme of things I don't think it's bad 
All right, let's put the brick in here. Now, we're gonna clean up beaches for just a little bit longer together and then we're gonna call it a day. I hope you enjoyed this build in this video. Uh, we are getting there, guys. I think we've almost got the front done. We've tweaked a lot. Okay, so I have more water to really tweak, but um, we're doing good. We're not doing bad. And if you think about it, we'll, um, we've almost got all the insides of the houses done too. So I needed a shovel, didn't I? Let's go get one. We could take this chunk of pathing out so it doesn't look weird. So we could actually brush it up. Okay. Because it's still going to be around your bridge. See it there? So you could leave it there. And then you could take this up. Yeah, that makes a little more sense too. And then you could put flowers and bushes here. So that kind of makes a little more sense. And we got to clean up beaches anyway. So as we clean up the beaches, we can make our choices about and glowing moss. And we could even hedge a little bit of this if we wanted to. Yeah, I like this. This is better. Much better. Now, what I really wanted to do where you plant the flowers or anything. Well, what makes sense to me is where did I put my storage shed? Did I pick it back up? I just wanted to do this really quickly. We may have to do this and then wrap this up so we don't keep you guys forever. There it is. Let's get a shovel, like a normal shovel. Oh, this doesn't look... Okay. I like the way this looks a lot better than it did before. I'll be honest with you about it. Before, I was kind of, uh, with it. Now, I'm kind of liking it a lot better, so... We may not need that many, but we'll get that many because i got to clean up beaches anyway. I'm probably going to work on it some. So, we're going to put some dirt here. Now, what we're going to do is this is not going to be brick because we can't do that. So let me see what this would look like if we did this but didn't put the brick under it. Let's see what it looks like. All right, now let's plant these. No. Do these look better with dirt under? Yes, they do. In my opinion, I think this looks a lot better with dirt under it. Don't you guys? And you can leave it in the comment box below. But yeah, I think that looks a lot better. And we could actually put this path down here or we could just dirt more and then plant more here either way now that's going to look a little odd though because we didn't do it there so I don't know if I want to do that or not you know what I mean because you don't want it well let's see can we curve it that's a little bit better but you can't do it here because that's still there and layered into that. Would that look weird if you take that off? Okay, those are decisions that we can make down the road. But I think I want the dirt there, even though the brick's not going to be. Now, let's look at the map and see what we got. Yeah. A lot better. A lot, lot better. The pathing is starting to look better. The cliffs are starting to look better. The water is starting to look better. Like, yeah, I like it. Okay, so I think this is where we'll wrap it up. But this was a good build. And I'm satisfied with it. So. We're going to continue to do more stuff. But I think we're even almost done with the outside. So as soon as we finish. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six houses. I think we've got six to go. All of Hogsmeade and the two in the back thing in Malfoy. And of course. Um, yeah, I think once we finish that and finish some more of this in outside projects, um, like flowers, plants, glowing moss, things like that, I think we'll be almost ready to wrap this build up and then we can start the Roaring Twenties. I'm pretty satisfied that I'm going to walk the map later and, and look at it to see what I think needs done, but uh, so far so good. So thank you for watching. Like I said, be sure to leave it a like. 
like or a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Come on over and join the Crossing Crew. We're a lot of fun over here. We're just a little bit of cozy content mixed with a fun little bit of chaos. It's fun, nothing bad. And uh, leave me a comment what you think about the build or, um, you know, what you think I could add or unadd. Thank you, Tammy, for the mail. Thank you, Shiloh, for the flip-flops. Uh, I will see you guys um, down the road. Have a fantastic day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.